When connecting the new material to students' prior learning, prior learning can be at the pre-college level, in previous courses at college or university, in previous lessons of the same course, or in that same lesson in previous segments. You may also connect the new material to prospective kinds of use and to practical applications of the theoretical material. Going back this, this professor applies the topic that he has just taught to the sound of a band, a topic that interests students result. at this age. If I don't want to have exactly V1 plus V2 but plus V3, but I want to scale them differently, all I have to do is adjust my values of R1, R2, and R3. I'm adjusting the gain on each one of those inputs. See? And I can, you know, I can change R1 and I'll get a different multiplication factor times V1. Then I'll get over here if I change R2. I can change that. Think of any use for that sort of a circuit? Suppose you're an audio engineer at a rock and roll concert. And you have this band up here with microphones. And you know, so you know, there's this guy, he's got long hair and he's sitting over here <laughs> by the drums. And here's some guy over here. You know, what's he got? The guitar. And here's, what else do they have in rock and roll bands? Singers. And you want to balance the combination of these inputs. <laughs> the point is, I can, by adjusting these potentiometers, adjust, adjust the gain for each of these microphones so that I can get whatever combination I want coming out here. And then I can adjust this for the overall ampli amplification. That is, I can adjust the individual amplifications so that I get the balance that I want. And then if I want to make it louder or softer all, all together, I'll adjust that one. Okay? That's a nice application. <laughs>